Hello, and welcome back to more VGM, everybody, and Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. We're currently outside in Damien's house. We're going to hang out with Goth Daddy. Goth Daddy is going to be hella fun. Mostly because like, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people would be like, dude, this is kind of scary. Dude, I'm fucking digging this. <laughs> I am 100% into this. Gargoyles, dude. Freaking, this is dope. Yep. Do people say? Did the kids still say dope? <laughs> do the do the youngins still say dope? Are things still dope? <laughs> I don't know. Is, is dope still a word? Uh, with the the, the okay. creepy door. Ah, <laughs> uh. I'm telling you, the door's gonna be a answered by Lurch from the Adams family. You rang. Yes. <laughs> yes. By the way, have you seen what was it? There's a show. Uh, I don't remember. Is, is it Paramount? I can't remember. Anyways, Wednesday. Great, great show. Uh, I have not seen my Wednesday point. yet. It's a pretty good show, especially, like, I especially love it because it's very much the, it's very much a, like a children's detective kind of story, mm. except it's Adam, Adam's family themed, aka lots of horror creatures involved. So better. So better, yes. Immediately, <laughs> and I love it, actually. It's, it's actually really good. I'll watch it opinion. eventually. I want to watch it. Wednesday is great. Exactly, little nanny. It's a door. It's wonderful. My my stepdad occasionally watches it. And I'm just like, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> I'll watch it. Anyways. I wait several moments before the door slowly creaks open. You ain't. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. It's a little where creepy. Where the door just opens by itself. But I enter the house and take a few steps into the foyer. The foyer. The foyer. Noting the oil portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. Be careful. Uncle Joe will come alive if you're, if you're evil. <laughs> and he will strangle you to death. As if the I'm... gargoyles didn't get you first. Right. <laughs> As I'm admiring them, the front door slams shut behind me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Hello? Dude, Sorry, I'm gonna be playing in Bloodborne. And, like, dude, this is. Mm, <laughs> I'm digging it. Mm. An oil lamp in the corner flickers dimly, casting ominous shadows against the wall. Why do I feel like all the people in these paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it are. so cold in here? Where's Damien? Dude, I'm down for Especially because of how freaking. Uh... Where's Anthony? <laughs> Where's Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> If anyone doesn't get that joke, it's a Smosh reference. Instead of where, where's Anthony, we got where's Damien, who's also a member of Smosh. <laughs> where's Damien? <laughs> anyway, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, like, dude, I'm down for this atmosphere, especially because it's the middle of summer right now and it's blazing hot. <laughs> right. Cold? 100% on board for this right now. <laughs> got some cool skulls. Or even like, even in the winter, I'm like, I would be like, yeah, this is all right. Also, look at this spread, little like little sandwiches and cake. Looks like it was set out with some tea. Like, oh, extravagant! Splurt! Pleasure to have you in my home. I look up and see Damien standing at the top of a majestic staircase with a walking candle holder. What's uh? Wait, he has a candle holder, dude. <laughs> It's like the camera candelabra, yeah. Or just, also, this spread is dope. Or just a candle saying. holder. I think a candelabra has like multiple holders, and so a candle holder uh, would just be like a single. Oh, it's a single. Oh, yeah, just the king single. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a candelabra unless it has like more than one spot for candles. I mean, would you doubt this guy to not use one of those? I mean, there's one sitting on this table right here. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh? What's with the door slamming shut? I love the the clash of styles because we have we have freaking Damien here in his Victorian esque 
Which, by the way, Victorian we're, we're, I have a whole, I have a whole little Victorian rant about how freaking like everybody is like, oh yeah, the Victorian era, and I'm like, do you know how long the Victorian era is? <laughs> that doesn't really give you a great idea of time frame. <laughs> Like, what part of Victorian era are we talking? Are we talking early Victorian era? The middle? The end where it's almost World War One? <laughs> right? Where are we talking? <laughs> it is an era. I don't think uh, some people realize, like, just how long, like, an era is. The only reason I actually know it's time frame is because, again, I'm a gun nut. And do you know how many guns were made and, like, developed over the Victorian era? <laughs> The only reason one of which is the about, Gatling gun. <laughs> the only reason I know about eras is because of Godzilla. True. Because we had it's the Showa true. era, the Heisei era, and then the eras, Millennium era. Era is a long dude. Like like the the Victorian era really only refers to the to Queen Victoria. That's about it. Yeah, that's it, what the Godzilla eras do. Is like a Emperor um, Showa, whatever. Emperor Heisei. And then there was the yeah. Millennium Era. I forget who was Emperor at that time. And now we're on the Reiwa Era. Ooh. Head pets. <laughs> there are two movies in the yeah. Reiwa Era. Jin Godzilla and Minus One. Yeah. I so would far. assume this is, this is like almost, from the way he dresses, I would assume it's around like, he's around the uh, mid-Victorian Era. Like, still sort of early, but moving into mid-Victorian Era. Yeah. Like, we're talking, like, 18, 1830s to, like, the American Civil War, almost. Which happened during the Victorian era, by the way. Um. <laughs> Very vampire-like. It makes me want to play Vampire. Maybe we should play that on the show sometime. Vampire? Dude, like, freaking Bloodborne is, it also comes to mind here as well. Freaking, yeah. I, I love, I love this, especially Damien because... Damien specific, specifically, though, it reminds me of yeah. Vampire because... Uh, yeah, Damien specifically, Main guy yeah. Vampire has, like, that same, like, vampire, Victorian yeah. look to him. Dude, I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it, even though it's a, it's a very specific style, it's a pretty good style. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, dude. It's a it's a dope style. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can't I can't knock this. It's it looks good. <laughs> and it looks good on him. <laughs> and it looks good on him. <laughs> oh, sorry. There was a draft. And the door freaking open when I knocked. No, oh, oh, the engines need to be oiled. <laughs> I accidentally left the door unlocked. In the creepy oil paintings. I like oil paintings. Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> right. He's not wrong. I, I don't doubt it. Please, let me show you around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, again, I love the clash because we have Damien here in his house. <laughs> and then we have Slurt McGirt and, and then with Danny Slurt. Sex Bang leot Sparkly <laughs> Leotard. With, with the Goku hair. And, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> a, what is it? Green eyebrows and a pink mustache. Yes. He's totally not in disguise or anything, guys. Yeah, totally, totally not. Damien leads Goku. me around his house, showcasing his parlor, sitting room, auxiliary sitting room, and the parlor again for some reason. Oh. This is one of the older homes on the block, yes, but nowhere near as old as the architecture might suggest. Uh -huh. Through extensive renovations, I have been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with the amenities of any modern dwelling. So, what you're saying is, you're rich as fuck. Right? <laughs> like, what do you do for a job, computer engineering? <laughs> for the government? <laughs> for the government? <laughs> like, dude, how do you, you're this loaded? That's not, like, those renovations are not cheap. Yeah. And are they hiring? <laughs> and are they hiring? Yes. <laughs> We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tape, and a black parade poster. Dude, ah, black parade. Definitely the sun's room. <laughs> yes. Did they listen to My Chemical Romance in the Victorian era? They did not exist back then. <laughs> Such a dad thing to say. When I was a young, a young boy, boy, my, my father... father Took me to the city, to, the city to, see to see a march band. band. 
<laughs> the Black Parade, gosh dang it. That's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenage years are. Onward, onward. There's more to see. Hmm. Onward, onward. There's more to see. Yeah, I agree. The son's room is probably not very interesting, and it's. I'm willing to bet it's a fucking mess. Um. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Probably smells like marijuana. Might. If it smells like anything at all. There's probably a haze cloud inside. It's probably not safe to breathe any of the air in there. Yeah, it's probably got emo music blaring. It's just soundproof the room so dad can't hear it. I don't think anyone wants to hear it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like My Chemical Romance occasionally, but there, there is a, such a thing as too much My Chemical Romance. <laughs> too many Bee Gees, they said. <laughs> we reach a door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. See, see, I know exactly what I would talk to Damien about because because of his Victorian era. But see, there there is a little overlap that Taco would have to talk with him, and that's because you know Taco is a gun nut, <laughs> <laughs> and I know the guns that existed at the during the period, and so I'm like, let's talk, let's discuss, you know, the the, the lovely inventions of certain firearms because I love firearms. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice butterfly collection. Like, I have a feeling I would have a great conversation with Damien over the freaking Drazy needle rifle. Why do I have a Drazy feeling that Damien rifle? was inspired by Susie? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it a lot now, and I'm like, mm, you're not wrong. There's, there's a lot of Susie here. <laughs> a little bit of Aaron, too, though, but... But uh, yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's, Aaron's like, like there's a reason there's, there's a reason Aaron married Susie. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> and I, 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 I know I know, right? Um. And this is the library. Dude, this Sunlight is streams library. in from floor to ceiling. Arched windows. The walls Dude. are lined with packed this... bookshelves. And even more books are scattered over the period appropriate furniture. This Damien is this... clearly really proud of this room. Dude, this library looks I'd be proud of this really room, accurate, and I, yeah. I, dude, I don't blame this them for like being proud of this. Like straight out of Beauty and the Beast, or the big library, Beauty and like great the... tiers of bookshelves, like straight out of that, like freaking any freaking like, like even in Bloodborne, if you've ever been in the library, in any of the libraries there too, freaking yep. exact same thing. Holy crap, dude, that is dedication, and that must have cost a fortune to build. All those Holy books? shit. Yeah. <laughs> You know, all those, those books, books yeah. are like period appropriate too. Oh yeah, he's definitely done his. He'll definitely have done his research and been like, "Yep, period appropriate books, hundred yeah. percent, all the way." There's, I'm sure there's modern books in there too, but I'm sure there's a lot of these books are like from the Victorian era, especially some of the ones closer down here on the ground because you know aesthetic. Um. <laughs> Do you have Dante's Epic? Dude, I'd read that. I have. I have Inferno. <laughs> I never Dude. went back and got uh, Purgatorio and Paradiso, but I have Inferno. Dude, I want to read that Dante's Inferno. Oh. It's so good. Like, Dante Alighieri does such an amazing job of painting a vivid picture with short, simple words. Like, his writing isn't super, like, overcomplicated with a bunch of big words, even for the time period. It is really well written and a good read. I highly recommend it. When was... I'm starting to think of, like, stuff that would be... I'm going, I wonder if uh, the Cthulhu Mythos would be in there in his library. Possibly. It's possible. I don't know. I'd have to do a bit more research because I don't remember when Lovecraft wrote his Mythos. Ah, yes, the great old one. To, to which I say, um, like, again, Lovecraft is a fantastic author. Is I don't agree with his worldview at all. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic author, though. <laughs> fantastic writer. What do we want to look at? Butterflies. Oh, he liked oh, that. Oh, he liked that. I walk up to the glass display of pinned bugs on the wall. It's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. Dude, I'd like these are dope. I can't recognize half of those bugs, mostly because of the style, but you know. <laughs> yeah, just even, even if even if even if they had like I'd be like, 
I wouldn't be able to name it, but I'd definitely appreciate the beauty of a lot of them. Yeah, I, I get a lot of bugs at my work. I could too, name so. a monarch. <laughs> That's about it. Awesome. I'm not super knowledgeable about butterflies. I have, I actually have a friend, uh, my friend Chase, who I had on stream the other day, actually, like last week, uh, last Saturday specifically. Um, he, he's very much into bugs. Like, re like he has his own, like, little bug cages. Like, when I last visited him, he had, like, bugs all over the place. Like, well, not all over the place, but, like, in cages and whatnot. Yeah, he's just a, all over the place, crawling of... on the floor and the walls, <laughs> up no, on the like, ceiling. He has a lot of pet bugs in that he keeps in cases. He has a lot of exotic ones, too. Like, they're very pretty. Very, yeah, very interesting. Like very he's funny. very... He's very knowledgeable about bugs. I actually made him jealous once because I got a picture of a very rare moth that exists in Utah. Ooh. And he was like, dude, I've been trying to find that moth for like years. And I'm like, I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and it just it just parked itself on my win my work window one day because they were doing the street and so it wasn't really being bothered so it just parked itself on a window. <laughs> Whatever. And so I just took like, a picture of it, a few pictures actually. And yeah, I got I got a few moths at my work, some some pretty bugs. Anyway, but yeah, I'm not the one that's knowledgeable about them. I just take I just think they're pretty and take pictures of them. Right. I got a thing. I actually get a I actually get a few moths that like to like uh camo try to camouflage themselves. Like I had one that landed on like a old piece of wood that we have in the back. And it was like super colored in the same way and I'm like, the only reason I could tell there was a moth there is because he was sticking off the end of it. <laughs> Where it would be normally flat, and I'm just like you know, this is a pretty good disguise, except for the fact that, you know, anyone who knows how this wood is supposed to be shaped would be like you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> but that's just the thing. Uh, nobody that knows how that wood is shaped, it will bother him. <laughs> Only things that don't know how that wood is shaped would bother him, and they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> also, like, a few times I'd get freaking... I used to get moss on the bottom of the door for, as well, because there's... Because probably because of the cool air or whatnot, but... Freaking, I get a few moss down there, some of them looking very much like leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. You can tell that they're not leaves, though, because if you try to, like, slightly touch them a little bit, they just, they don't move, really. They just cling tightly to the freaking bottom of the door, so I'm just like, I mean, as long as you're not bothering anyone, and you're, I'm not crushing your little feetsies. <laughs> as long as you're not going inside and fluttering around the light like an idiot. <laughs> Lamp. 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 <laughs> nice bugs. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I pinned them all myself, and maybe I could show you how sometime. That would be a dope time, actually. I'm concerned I would stick the pin right through my finger. Ah, uh, the pinner's gambit. Is that a thing? Hmm. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to pick up the book? It's probably going to like if we do all but the window. So, the book. He's I don't know. Like it. It. What, do you get offended if book. we touch his books? I don't know. Uh, that, 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 that's the thing, though. Out. That's what I'm thinking about. It's like, ooh, would he get offended if we just, like, pick one up without asking? I don't I don't know if he'd like us looking out the window either, though. Yeah, I don't know. Pick... Oh. Hey. You know, Splurt, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought the more... Toddy novels would encourage youths into a life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. I mean, yeah, he's not entirely wrong, not to mention freaking women were still being crucified for being witches for reading. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, there was that. That is definitely a thing in human history, sadly. Um... <laughs> I pull out a book at random and examine the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. <laughs> oh my gosh! I read the first name and I went, "Dear Lord, no!" <laughs> it Naruto just struggled against the chains that Sasuke had bound him with. Shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pet. Hey yo! This is this Naruto fanfic. Dude, this is the freaking fanfics they read on freaking uh, 
on the Grumps Patreon. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't Dear realize Lord. we were going to be reading Naruto fan I didn't know today. we were good friends. I didn't think we would encounter this today. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's not as bad as Sonic fanfic, it will be oh all right. Oh my gosh, the Sonic fanfic was so... But it's so funny because it's clearly, obviously, English is not his first language. And it's not just that. Like, Sonic fanfic in general is usually just cringe. It's cringe, and it's also... It's, it's what makes it funny. <laughs> Because it's so cringe that none of them are really that good at writing. <laughs> the Sonic takes off his pants. Uh... What pants? <laughs> no, just be honest. This pa this uh, this paragraph here is actually for for what it would be in a book. If this was in a book, that would be pretty good. Fifty Shades of Chakra. Fifty. <laughs> 50... <laughs> you know that's exactly what the title of the book is 100 <laughs> percent okay i think that's enough <laughs> damien snaps the book shut and puts it back on the shelf that's a rare book from my private collection oh oh so he is into some more modern uh, yep. stuff apparently He's into so, anime! He's into anime. He's got <laughs> I knew he was a weeb. Anyway. <laughs> Do you think he would like us looking out the window enjoying the view from his manor? I don't know. You could try it. The very worst would be down one set of hearts. Not the worst. Safe's coming. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that saves come. Hey, he did like it. I walk to the window and am greeted by a beautiful view of Damien's backyard. It showcases a beautiful view of the rest of the I'm surprised it's not a full, like, full, like, castle courtyard back there, actually. Right. <laughs> hey, I can see Craig on his lawn. He's doing push-ups with his daughters on his back. Of course he is. He's also wearing the papoose. <laughs> One hundred percent wearing the papoose, with the baby still in front and everything. Yep. That's how he knows he's gone down far enough. When the baby touches the ground, that's far enough time to come back up. Yep. Baby needs to eat dirt, you know. He's gonna yeah. do it anyway. Might as well, uh, you know, encourage it. Good for the immune system. <laughs> Good for the immune system. <laughs> Damn. He sees me and waves happily, doing push-ups with one hand now. Damn! Of course, now he's showing up. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, I'd be like, I would have, I would have said, "Damn!" I would have said, "Show off!" <laughs> right? <laughs> Friggin' show off! Did you know that the Victorians spend at least twenty hours a week gazing longingly out of full-length windows? Yeah, I wonder why. It's like they didn't have much to do. Right? Wait, <laughs> really? <laughs> no. The Victorians did appreciate telling a good joke. <laughs> Please, will you join me for tea? Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> you, you know, got, you got some of those uh, this whole little finger sandwiches? Just reminding... Sorry, what was that? You got some of those little finger sandwiches to go with it? Dude. Maybe, maybe some little cuts of cake? Yes. Or, like, yes. really fancy. I, I would 100% go to a tea party. If, yeah, if, you're, if you're giving me like a nice cup of tea, like bougie tea, and you got them little finger I mean, sandwiches and little tiny desserts. Like, I've oh, yeah. never, never really had tea before, so. I, I'm more I southern, so I live off of tea. <laughs> I'm not going to say I won't try it. Well, it's, it's, it's great. That's I, for sure, I though. absolutely love tea. The top five drinks, hands down. Maybe I might try some someday. And you can do um, so much with it. Like, the fruit infused tea. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. But yes, uh. Do, 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 do. What was I saying again? Uh. Before we. Went, I was gonna say something. Fuck. Anyway. Brain I guess, fart. I guess mm -hmm. Brain fart. It did. And did. Indeed. <laughs> All the indeed. It did. 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 It did
you, you probably shouldn't though, because I have a feeling you'll do it too accurately in the game, and, uh, and Twitch will uh, smack us <laughs> with you some copyright shit. <laughs> I mean, you too. Twitch you will never see it. <laughs> the whole freaking Aaron doing Darude Sandstorm too accurately. <laughs> Can't copyright claim. <laughs> I follow Damien to his sitting room where finger foods have already been set out upon a beautiful this, tiered this silver man. tray. Hell this man yes! This man was prepared for this day. Holy fuck. <laughs> I take a seat on one of the high-backed chairs as Damien pours and serves me some tea. I can't believe we're having a high tea. I never thought I'd get to do this. Same. Damien smiles to himself. <laughs> to be set, honestly, same. What? what? <laughs> it's a common misconception that high tea refers to wealth or class of the people enjoying it, when in fact, the high refers to both the later time of the day that the working class had to enjoy tea and the height of the tables on which they were served. Oh, so they were standing. Oh. oh, I did not know that. We are all learning today. Yeah, we look. We've all learned something. Let's see. We're learning. Video shit. games not are just, educational, everybody. Not just the shit that Taco says about guns, because <laughs> gosh, Taco, Taco would bring up the Drazy needle rifle with Damien, and we would talk for hours <laughs> <laughs> about oh. how and how freaking Germany united itself, use mostly through the use of that gun. Up. <laughs> My dear friend, we're currently enjoying afternoon tea. That's informative. Damien takes a seat <laughs> next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. I like your cape. <laughs> I like your cape. That's such a... <laughs> That's such a cop-out answer. It seems like you've really put a lot of work you into really this place. really liked you. Huh. Really liked that holy crap, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. No one's ever complimented my home before. Dude, this uh, house is. I, this house that, is that was actually, dude. Like, dude, that was mildly putting it. This house is freaking amazing. <laughs> Hell, I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers in my place. And look at what you've done. I'm kind of jealous. Oh. Also, freaking can we, like again. What do you do for work, Damien? <laughs> right. You must be loaded. <laughs> That's very generous of you to say. What got you so interested in goth stuff? And he's gonna go off on that. Um, well, when I was uh, a young boy, oh, we're actually, we're father... actually getting took you into the city <laughs> to see a marching band. <laughs> <laughs> you said, "Son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken?" <laughs> that's, that's so great. You know that was on purpose. <laughs> you know 100%. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he take you to the city? <laughs> <laughs> I give it down, but gosh, this is funny. <laughs> it's so great. Oh man. 10 out of 10 writing. 10 out of 10. Low hanging fruit, but we're here for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. Sorry? Sorry? No. <laughs> Did you guys see a marching band? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> don't worry about it. You're serious? <laughs> of course. But it's, you know, the song. Amanda made me listen to it. Seriously. <laughs> I'd love to see a marching band. It's not actually that spectacular, Damien. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're gonna be bored. Gonna be honest with it you. De it depends. Oh, yeah, it does depend on the marching band too. Yeah, if they're yeah. like the marching band that, and you know, at like the Super Bowl that are out there doing like choreography and like marching around making like shapes and stuff. That's Those entertaining. Are actually the yeah. half halftime halftime especially when they're like super intricate it's like holy it, shit how did they do halftime halftime marching bands at football games best shit ever in fact half the time i'd say you go to the football game not for the football game you go for for the freaking marching band dude <laughs> yeah, some of the some of their choreography is like how do you not run over each other a lot of practice 
I would know. My, lots and lots a, of practice. My brother, my brother did marching band for for that for a while. I did marching Actually, band as well, but I, was, I never did any of like the choreography he was, stuff. He was he was my older brother, but you know it was freaking fun. But that was you know what? Band. Because I was I, because I was his brother and whatnot, uh, and they needed help a lot of the times for those shows. Whenever we were at the those football games, we got to help bring the percussion all the percussion instruments out onto the field. <laughs> so we got to roll them out onto the field. It was great. <laughs> oh, I was say, was Taco cool. Majorette? What? I was going to say, is, was Taco a Majorette out there in a cute little uniform spinning around in your baton? No, Taco never did marching band. <laughs> Taco would have loved to, but you know. <laughs> I did. Taco I played trumpet for many a year in marching band. I did... I did orchestra stuff. I played violin for about three years. I was, uh, towards the end of band, I was picking up violin. I got me a violin and I was learning how to play it. I still got it. I think about picking it back up every once in a while, but that's kind of like, what's the point? Like, I'm not going to become a musician. I'd have to really figure out how to, uh... I'd have to refigure out where to put some stuff because uh, when I learned violin, we used uh, we used different colored tapes t for uh, where we put our fingers, uh, and that helped that helped a lot with learning how to how to play it. I went au naturel. <laughs> of course, I was pretty much self teaching. So, yeah, uh, with some, yeah, with some assistance from my band teacher, but I quit band because the band teacher was like also like in charge of the computers so if somebody was having like computer problems she had to go off and fix it so a lot of times yeah. she would like leave the band room like to go fix a computer problem it's like we're in the middle of band we're in the middle of class right now like well you also come back well, and teach us music let somebody else love... handle the computer problems you know somebody that's not currently having a class uh, yeah, that would have been quitting. that would have been ideal. But you know, if you're the only one who knows how to fix computer issues, <laughs> especially in school, because freaking, do you know how many teachers are old? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I she feel wasn't sorry the only you. one either. I knew there was another. I knew there was a guy there that knew how to do it because he came from uh, the elementary school up here, and he was the computer guy there. <laughs> I know she wasn't the only one that knew how to fix that stuff. Head pat, dragon, or head pat. Anyway, uh, back to uh, Damien's lack of understanding for my chemical romance. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have always had a love for art, history, and fashion. What started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals grew into a sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives and culture of those who came before us, I think. Sometimes, just not always, not all the way. Yeah. Why not go all the way? I like not dying when I catch a cold. He He's got a point. A <laughs> point. <laughs> He's got a great point. <laughs> that yeah, is an excellent enough. point. <laughs> Modern medicine truly is better than what it was. <laughs> yep. I can acknowledge that there were many very terrible things about the Victorian era, and to try oh, yeah, to live a, a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. There's there's yeah. a lot of problems like At sex, least he's not a wackadoo. Um, sexism, sexism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not that we still have some of those issues, but... <laughs> But like, there's a uh, there's a He's lot. He's definitely of uh, not uh, a wackadoo <laughs> for not fully embracing it and realizing yeah. like there were some things that were like not so great. <laughs> Polio. The, aste uh. <laughs> the aesthetics are nice. A lot of the other stuff, not so much. <laughs> not so like there's a lot of stuff in that era, like the entire era, and I don't much just mean like the beginning or the end, like the entire era, beginning to end. Sucked. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of things that sucked in there and that would be absolutely atrocious today. <laughs> Child but, labor. Uh. <laughs> but I think it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be cognizant of its flaws and love it all the same. I, yeah, I get that. I get that. I do love the aesthetic of 
of England at that time, which is why I'm fully on board with this. <laughs> oh, England's England's architecture and like freaking like his clothes and clothing style of that time period, freaking it's pretty dope. <laughs> They're pretty dope. Were they great people? No. <laughs> <laughs> But they had pretty dope clothes. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like f the fact that like like I'm gonna get shot for this, but freaking it's like when we talk World War Two and how how immaculately dressed the SS were or freaking the Wehrmacht, and it's like yeah, they're evil, but damn, they looked good. <laughs> and you'll look good when you catch us next time on VGM. That's true. Just take just take Tagano's word for it. Anyways, bye. And see you next time, everybody. Bye.